Welcome back everyone to Fox Tech. Today, in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to turn off sleep mode on your iPhone. Now, sleeping, sleep mode can mean different things depending on what you're looking to adjust, whether it's the automatic lock feature, the sleep focus mode designed to prevent disturbances at night, or even setting a timer to stop audio or video playback. I'll cover everything you need to know, so let's dive in. First, let's talk about setting up a sleep mode for stopping audio or video playback after a certain period. This is a great feature if you like to listen to music or watch videos before bed, but don't want them running all night. To do this, you can use the timer feature in the clock app. It's a simple trick, but incredibly useful. Here's how it works. Open the clock app on your iPhone and go to the timer tab and you'll see an option to set the duration for your timer. Now what's important here is what happens when the timer ends. Um, typically you might use this to set an alarm sound but there's another option. Select stop playing. This setting will stop any media playing on your iPhone once the timer runs out. So if you set a timer for say 30 minutes while listening to music, your iPhone will automatically stop playing the music when the time is up. It's perfect for those nights when you want to fall asleep to your favorite tunes without worrying about them playing all night. Next, let's move on to what some people consider as sleep mode, the auto lock feature. This is the setting that determines how long your iPhone stays awake before the screen automatically locks due to inactivity. If you want to adjust or completely turn off this feature, it's quite simple. Start by opening the settings app on your iPhone. Scroll down until you see display and brightness and tap on it. In this menu, you'll find an option called auto lock. Tapping on auto lock gives you a list of time durations to choose from ranging from 30 seconds to five minutes, or you can select never if you don't want your iPhone to automatically lock at all. Once you make your selection, just close the settings app and the changes will take effect immediately. This is a great way to keep your screen on for as long as you need, especially if you're reading something or using your phone for tasks that require the display to stay on. Lastly, let's talk about sleep mode in terms of sleep tracking. If you've been using your iPhone to try and track your sleep, you might have noticed that it's somewhat limited on its own. For accurate sleep tracking, you'll need an Apple Watch because the iPhone by itself can't effectively monitor your sleep patterns. Apple's built-in sleep tracking does offer some basic insights, but if you're looking for more detailed analysis, you might want to explore third-party apps like Sleepwatch or Pillow. These apps can give you a more comprehensive look at your sleep habits, helping you make adjustments to improve your sleep quality. So there you have it, a complete overview of how to turn off and manage the different types of sleep mode on your iPhone. Whether you're adjusting playback timers, controlling your screen's auto lock settings, or looking to track your sleep more accurately, I hope this guide has been helpful. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Fox Tech C for more tech tutorials and tips. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.